Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world, the wedding capital of the world, the retirement haven of the world, and one of the best destinations, one of the best and biggest gaming floors with mega concerts and conventions all nestled in the best resorts in the globe. And these are just some of the reasons why Vegas is the global brand. Welcome to Vegas Vibes, giving you a peek of what's grooving and brewing in the music, pageantry, and live production scenes in the city that never sleeps. And I'm your host, Esmeralda Padilla Gold. Some exciting news when we get back. So stay there. We use headphones as a part of our everyday lives. Whether we're at work, getting exercise, meditating, in transit, studying, practicing, or relaxing. Hi, I'm Ryan Sway, the founder of Aircom. I would like to introduce the world's first wireless airflow audio earbuds. As a festival and a concert junkie, I really enjoy the live experience of being there and feeling the music. When we started developing Airflow, our goal was to reproduce that live experience using earbuds. The problem with traditional headphones is that the speakers are located inside of the earpiece, literally giving you centimeters before the audio hits your eardrum. What Aircom is doing, they're the first company to actually address the fact that there needs to be a space involved associated with having the sound waves expand fully. The difference between traditional headphones and Aircom audio is that the air tube gives you eight times more space, allowing the sound waves to fully develop before they actually hit your eardrums. And this gives it a much more live, natural sound, just like in a recording studio. It's real nice that someone actually addressed the physics associated with how sound comes out. The challenge we had was to create an earbud with enough airspace for the sound to fully develop and breathe. Unfortunately, traditional earbuds are about the size of a jelly bean, and there's just not enough airspace. However, that changed when we developed Airflow Audio. Airflow uses an air tube to deliver six to eight times more airspace than traditional earbuds. The end result is a true live listening experience, just like you're at a festival or a concert. We also added magnets to the back of the earpieces, so you can wear it around your neck when you're not using it. Being that the drivers are eight inches from the earpiece, the magnets do not affect the integrity of the sound at all. The orange line represents the frequency transmitting through the wire to the speaker, which then converts to the blue sound wave that develops more as it travels up the air tube, producing a balanced, full body and live listening experience. Another really cool feature is that these earbuds are sweat proof and water resistant because they're coated with a super hydrophobic nanotechnology. So now you can be on a skateboard or riding a motorcycle and listen to music as if you were watching a live show or actually in a recording studio. We're coming to you for help in bringing these unparalleled earbuds to market. Thanks for keeping me company. The residency and concert scene in Las Vegas get bigger and more exciting each and every week. British pop star Robbie Williams recently announced at the Wind Las Vegas that his concerts scheduled this month in June and July of this year are all sold out. The live shows are aptly dubbed the Robbie Williams Show live in Las Vegas at the Encore Theater. Ask why he's so popular and commands swift ticket sales, Williams said. I am an entertainer and not a lot of people do what I do. I sing, tell jokes, and ponder to the audience, he added. Williams is clearly a Rat Pack devotee. He seems to have borrowed his hip vernacular and swagger from his idol, Dean Morton. He has performed My Way in his touring show and recorded Something Stupid, the Frank and Nancy Sinatra duet with Nicole Kidman. These songs have since become mainstays of his live shows. Williams has always wanted to perform in Las Vegas, but despite his advanced ticket sales, he's not willing to commit to additional bookings after July of this year. Sharing the show bus from the review journal, guitar great Neil Sean has announced a journey residency in Vegas in October. He let that fly during an interview recently on iHeartRadio.
The venue specified but Coliseum at Caesars Palace tops the odds on list. Foreigner, recently reunited with original singer Lou Graham, is also reportedly looking at a run at Venetian Theatre, though not finalized. Eager to see where all this convo about Shania Twain's return to the street leads, famed director Kenny Ortega is still working on the overhaul and upgrade to the Lake of Dreams multimedia production at The Win. Donnie and Marie Osman are in a wacky mode. Marie hinted in interviews that Donnie was the peacock in the Fox show Mask Singer, all but ruining the surprise. Donnie then told Entertainment Tonight that the duo's departure at the end of this year is a rumor, though he has already made that announcement. Magic legend David Copperfield has been hitting the scene at a taping of Penn and Teller's Fool Us at the Rio on Friday and at Opium at the Cosmopolitan on Monday. And finally, Golden Nuggets Hotel located in downtown Las Vegas will be hosting the 2019 Regency International Pageant from July 19th to the 21st. The categories include Tiny, Petite, Little Miss, Junior Miss, Junior Teen, Teen Miss, Miss, MRS, and Classic. Wow, there are so many. Regency International Pageant focuses on celebrating beauty, culture, and style. Has been hosting this pageant event since 2015. Visit regencyinternationalpageant.com for registration and more information. When we come back, I'll be interviewing someone special. So don't go away. Jingles are the way of life to sell everything from clothes, products, and houses. Jingalicious has been there for many corporate companies to bring them the customers they need to thrive big all year round. Jingalicious can create unique sound designs, jingles, and custom songs. Mention this video commercial and get any of our services for only $500 each, a savings of thousands of dollars. We want to invite new clients to Jingalicious to make their dreams or business succeed with Jingalicious. Call us now at 702-302-9212. That's 702-302-9212. Or visit our website at www.jingalicious.com. Jingalicious. Our jingles are ready when you are. Jingalicious. Hello, this is Keith Evans at the Lion Habitat Ranch. We'd like you to come out and visit our ranch. There's 38 lions, a giraffe that paints, ostriches, emus, and birds. We do school tours, general admission, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and behind the scenes tours every day of the week. Besides coming in as general admission, you can also pay extra to help our animals, and you can feed the giraffe. You can feed one of the lions. <laughs> or you can have Ozzy paint a custom canvas for you. You can also buy Ozzy paintings in the gift shop. While we do our demonstrations at 12 and 2 of Ozzy painting, all those canvases are available for purchase. In addition to everything you can do here in person, you can find us on the website, lionhabitatranch.org, where you can make your reservations online or buy your paintings online. Thank you very much. Please come. Here with us today, I'm very proud to introduce a Philippine actor known for his first starring role, Torpe, back in 1955, and referee for the third and final boxing match between Muhammad Ali and Joe Fraser, also known as Thrilla in Manila, my uncle, the brother of my late father, Federico Padilla, and my godfather as well, the legendary figure in sports, Mr. Carlos Sunny Dolorico Padilla Jr. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's so nice to have you here on Vegas Vice, and thank you for granting my request. It's truly an honor to have you. Uh, it really means a lot to me. Uh, you are the son of the late Carlos Ruiz Padilla Sr., my grandfather. Mm -hmm. Carlos Padilla Sr. was one of the famous silent actors back in the 1930s and 1940s. An Olympic boxer like his late brother, uh, Jose Padilla Jr., his siblings were Amado Cortez, the actor Consuelo Padilla Osorio, film director and writer Roy Padilla Sr., actor, film director, politician, father of Robin Padilla, Romel Padilla, and Bibi Gandang Harry, 
And as well as Ricardo Padilla, the mayor of Jose Panganiban in Camarines Norte, and grandfather of Danielle, the movie actor, Pilar Padilla Fernandez, mother of the late Rudy Fernandez, past Padilla Cristina Aragon, who portrayed Valentina in the very first Darna movie in 1951. And of course, anyone who hails from the Philippines and is familiar with the Padilla's legendary fame and achievements knows for sure that you are the father of the famous singer-actress Divine sure. Diva Sure, sure. Shasha Padilla and grandfather of Kirill, the Philippine singer, actress, and beautiful just like her mom, Shasha, who gained international fame for singing the Philippine national anthem at Manny Pacquiao's dream fight against Oscar De La Hoya. Also, you are the uncle of Gino Padilla, another singer, songwriter, actor in the family, whose first big break was in a soft drink commercial that was shot in Hollywood, California. Uh, or he had a duet with the famous rock and roll legend, Miss Tina Turner. Wow. Mm -hmm. The Padilla clan is uh, almost all, uh, all in the uh, Philippine movies. Yes, Philippine movie, yeah. movies, politics, and sports. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's truly an honor to... My gosh, it's like, I, I was like Googling last night our ancestral roots. I was like, wow, all the achievements they, they, they've done in their lives it's really inspiring and, and no wonder you've become your an actor yourself and you started as uh, a child, uh, a child actor, actor. Yeah. matinee and then eventually a movie star do you remember i, I mentioned um their your first movie was torpe how was that like yeah, well, how were you discovered or is it from the family you were discovered or they just how how, how did it come about well because they're all in the movies, director, producer. So my father, your uncle, uh, yeah, he put us to, uh, to play in the movies. So it's in the family. Padillas are like uh, uh, Barrymore. Barrymore. The Barrymores. Oh, uh, the Barrymores. They're all famous, uh, you know, here in the States. In Padilla is like Barrymores in the Philippines. Oh, that's interesting. I'm the first uh, uh, actor to star in the movies, then uh, Fernando Po Jr. and Joseph Estrada. I came first to star in the movies. And how so, old were you then? Well, I'm 20 years old, as Over a 20, leading man. As a leading man. Yeah. It's all uh, history. History. You call it. Yeah. Like my uh, my refereeing, it's all history. Yes, how did you transition from being uh, a movie actor to a figure in sports, to a well, judge be, and a boxing referee? Because my uh, your uncle, my father, and Jose, also your uncle, Were Olympic they, they represented Boxing Olympics in 1932, here in Los Angeles. And in 19, it's every four years. And in 1936, uh, the last Olympic, uh, because after that the war broke already, uh, in Berlin, Germany, they represented twice. You know, if you represented boxing and especially Olympic, you have to be a champion at the national uh, 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 competition, national all over the Philippines. Then you are entitled to uh, represent Compete Boxing Olympic. In international. And after that, imagine that, huh? how they are good looking, both of them, to become a leading man in the Philippine movies. And my father, Carlos Padilla Sr. Yes, became during his time, uh, he he started the uh, silent silent yes, movie. Yes, he was one of spread. the silent actors by My father. the 1930s. And, and then uh, the first talkies, he started. Uh, he was the the leading man in the first talkies, in the because he's the top, the number one during during that time. Ladies and gentlemen, the government and people of the Republic of the Philippines, in cooperation with Don King Productions Incorporated, proudly present the Thriller in Manila. You were given a Lifetime Achievement Award by the Philippine Sports Writer Association in 2011. I read that 
Eddie Futch, Joe Fraser's trainer, did not want any American referee to uh, referee the Muhammad Fraser fight in in Manila. And that was the catalyst which started you in the high profile boxing contest. During that time, they, they call us four Filipino referees, or three, three of us, that uh, they want Filipino officials mm. to be neutral because uh, Fraser is uh, complaining of uh, Alice holding and holding, you know. And uh, they told us one of us will be chosen. And uh, they told us already what uniform we were going to wear at the office of the boxing uh, in the Philippines. So to, to get the news what's going on. The last time we went there, uh, already evening, the, the following day is the fight, the big fight. They told us that uh, they already changed the plan that they are uh, going to use the the uh, uh, international uh, referees. So we are disappointed. And then when I came home, they said uh, they changed. And then the, the, the next morning, the following morning at five o'clock in the morning, me and my uh, uncle uh, became a referee also. We, when we go to the fight, we already dress. Not like other, they dress at uh, the, the, uh, uh, the venue. But we're dressed, you know. You came prepared. Yes, they call you, then you're ready. The fight is start at uh, six o'clock in the morning. Oh, so well, that's pretty early. <laughs> five o'clock, the Filipinos all over the the uh, the country. It's the already country. the Araneta. Oh, wow. They uh, see you know, they sleep there at the uh, side of the Coliseum. So we are at, uh, at the, uh, you know, a, 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 like a balcony or whatever in the Araneta. And then the head of the uh, the Games and Amusement Board, they said, Carlos. I said, yes, sir. They're looking for you. You, you, you have to go to the, uh, you know, this uh, media, whatever it is. I said, why? You're, you're going to do the early pressure. Wow. Yes. Okay. Hurry, like, hurry up. Go there. Reaction? They're already waiting for you. It's a good thing I went there. And then... They interview, interview, and then when the fight started, I was introduced by uh, uh, Joe Cantada. He's the best at boxing. Colonel Alfredo Piazon and Larry Nadayag. Referee Sonny Padilla Jr. 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. Ay na, ginawa ko na lahat yung magagawa ko. Because if you are there, wala na yun. Uh, ang, uh, what is in your mind is to do your best. Ayun. Uh, Ali, I, uh, I uh, remember Ali uh, during the fight, he said, uh, a one, a two, a three. Every time uh, Joe Preser threw a punch, he is on the, uh, leaning on the ropes, a rope a dope. Imagine that if they didn't go to the fight. So when I came here, they said, uh, my brother-in-law uh, brought me to the boxing uh, office and then said, he's a boxing rapper in the Philippines. He wants to be one of, oh, no, no, we are already, I, yes, there are many already here as a rapper. No, no more place. And he said, he, he brought the magazine. The, uh, he showed the thrill in Manila uh, uh, The magazine that, that they're praising my, my work. And then, he's the referee of the Ali Preser. What? Mm -hmm. This, they, they, he called uh, right away the assistant. Give him the application. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history. Of course, I just wanted to um, mention 
that after you have relocated to the United States, you have refereed many high-profile boxing matches over the next two decades, including Sugar Ray Leonard versus Wilfredo Benitez, Mike Tyson versus Pinklon yeah, a Thomas. Fight, yeah. My advantage to be a good referee, I got it in the Philippines because they, I am uh, in demand because I'm an actor. Instead of getting a, a referee in the province, like a, a, a fiesta, whatever, and there's an occasion, you get somebody they know. So when I came here, and when I refereed the early pressure fight, I'm already, uh, uh, how they call it, the skilled as a referee. Because refereeing is not a joke, boy. It's a hard, hard work. You are the only one that will decide the fight. You, you cannot ask anybody. So your uh, uh, common sense is the best. I wish we have more time, but uh, mm. for my last final question, mm. what piece of advice or counsel would you submit to any young generation adults who may have similar aspiration as you once did as a very young adult. Just be good, take care of yourself, you know, avoid this uh, bad habit. That's it. Whatever you cannot prevent, uh, all your, uh, your time will come. But the best important is be good. Okay. Mm. Is there anything else you would like to say to our Filipino audience and to our global audience as well? Well, uh, lalo ng mga show, Filipino show, lalo na itong show ni Ames, uh, tangkilikin nyo. Mga, eh, ka nga eh, Filipino first. Well, I must say, thank you for being such a great influence uh -huh. to a lot of people, especially to me. I know growing up, my father have always looked up to you. He, he spoke highly of you. And of course, uh -huh. uh, you have brought so much joy, pride, and prestige to our Padilla clan. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really heartwarming for me to have you here and uh, just be able to interview you. Oh, yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much, okay. Tito Sunny. Once again, I'm Esmeralda Padilla Gold. Catch me again next time as I feature another amazing personality here on Vegas Vibes. I would like to thank Anna Stewart Billings of Anne Fontaine. Anne Fontaine is located at the Forum Shops in Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. Take care, everyone. Be good. Uh, spread love and be kind to one another. You know, we've had some wonderful adventures at the Las Vegas Natural History Museum. Yeah, we've discovered dinosaurs. And saw strange creatures from deep oceans. We've explored the safari in Africa. What do you think we'll discover next? Welcome. What do you see? What do you see? Things, wonderful things. You too can discover wonderful things at the Las Vegas Natural History Museum. Explore treasures of Egypt, a trip to King Tut's tomb, and recreations of some of Egypt's best-known artifacts. Jingle Jingles are the way of life to sell everything from clothes, products, and houses. Jingalicious has been there for many corporate companies to bring them the customers they need to thrive big all year round. Jingalicious can create unique sound designs, jingles, and custom songs. Mention this video commercial and get any of our services for only $500 each a savings of thousands of dollars. We want to invite new clients to Jingalicious to make their dreams or business succeed with Jingalicious. Call us now at 702-302-9212. That's 702-302-9212. Or visit our website at www.jingalicious.com. Jingalicious, our jingles are ready when you are. Jingalicious. Hello, this is Keith Evans at the Lion Habitat Ranch. We'd like you to come out and visit our ranch. There's 38 lions, a giraffe that paints, ostriches, emus, and birds. We do school tours, general admission, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and behind the scenes tours every day of the week. 
Besides coming in as general admission, you can also pay extra to help our animals, and you can feed the giraffe. You can feed one of the lions, or you can have Ozzy paint a custom canvas for you. You can also buy Ozzy paintings in the gift shop. While we do our demonstrations at 12 and 2 of Ozzy painting, all those canvases are available for purchase. In addition to everything you can do here in person, you can find us on the website, lionhabitatranch.org, where you can make your reservations online or buy your paintings online. Thank you very much. Please come. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode as much as I did sharing the vibes of Vegas. And time really flies when you're having a grand time. Don't fail to join me again next week on this same fabulous ACTV channel. And to all our global viewers out there, let me be candid with you. Las Vegas is not just about the world-renowned strip or the famous Fremont Street experience in the burgeoning downtown district. It has real people. A lot of them, musicians, live entertainers, and those involved in the world of pageantry. And to the people here in the Valley who work hard each day to make Las Vegas a global brand, and to these ordinary people who are doing extraordinary things through the community, and to these unsung everyday heroes, you are the ones I would like to feature right here on Vegas Vibes, either on the ACTV studios or at your workplace. If you believe that's you, please email me now at esmeralda at actvlv.com. I'm your host, Esmeralda Padilla Gold. Thanks for watching. is down. Oh no, not again. No, where's our backup internet? Look! Our backup internet saved the day! ThanksLV.net! Remember, the best place for backup internet is LV.net. Be your office's superhero and secure your business with backup internet today. Call LV.net at 702-9 million. You know, we've had some wonderful adventures at the Las Vegas Natural History Museum. Yeah, we've discovered dinosaurs. And saw strange creatures from deep oceans. We've explored the safari in Africa. What do you think we'll discover next? Welcome. What do you see? What do you see? Things. Wonderful things. You too can discover wonderful things at the Las Vegas Natural History Museum. Explore treasures of Egypt. A trip to King Tut's tomb and recreations of some of Egypt's best known artifacts. This has been a presentation of VATV.